Alright guys, thanks for coming back. This is USAgent27 from the Articulated.com forums. And we're back today with another Minimate review. This pack is courtesy of Diamond Select Toys. Specifically, Zach at Diamond Select Toys who sent this off to us for review purposes. Um, and also a prize for one of our members, Jaybird, who won a photo contest. Alright, so what we have up here is we have Survivor Morgan and the Geek Zombie. And here's a look at the packaging. Very nice packaging. It's the same as all the other um, Walking Dead Mini Mates. Um, I'm a fan of the packaging. It looks very simple. You can see both characters. It looks great. Uh, flip it over to the back. On the back, we can see all the other characters in this wave. I've already reviewed Prison Michonne and Tyrese. Looks like we're going to get a Caesar Martinez, a Maggie, a Riot Gear Glenn. Those will be coming up in later reviews. And you guys can see there's a sticker on it. All right. Alright, so this is uh, the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a second. I'll come back and I'll have this package open and we'll take a look at the figures. Alright, and we are back. We've got the packaging opened up and what we have is Survivor Morgan and the Geek Zombie. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with Morgan. Let me toss the zombie off to the side and we'll talk about what he comes with. So Morgan is a character we've gotten before. We've gotten one other version of Morgan. Um, out in the Walking Dead Mini Mates. This version is a little bit different. This is the Survivor Morgan, and he comes with a display stand. Set off to the side. He also comes with a shovel. Uh, if you guys have been following the TV show at all, you saw Morgan in one of the other seasons where he did have a shovel, which is kind of appropriate. He also had it in the comic book, too. That's a nice little touch. Fits well on his hand. He also comes with a little pistol. Um, it looks like a... 9mm maybe, I don't know, Beretta. Nice little pistol, it fits well in his hand. Set that off to the side. And let's go ahead and take a look at Morgan in a little bit more detail. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now, Morgan's tempo on his face is really, really well done. I mean, this this guy looks great. Uh, I like the, the shirt, how it's got a rip in it. I like the fact that he's only got one sleeve. Um, he looks really, really good. He looks like he's been through hell. And that's kind of like what the character is supposed to be. So as far as articulation goes, here's another look at his side. I mean, that looks awesome. He does everything that Minimate will do. He'll look, you know, down a little bit, look up. His head will spin all the way around. You can take his hair piece off if you really want to and give him a bald Morgan. His arms will spin all the way around. Bend at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist right there, then all the way around. Waist swivel. Leg will go up. Bend at the knee. Swivel at the ankle right there. The other side is exactly the same. So Morgan is a great addition to your Walking Dead uh, character collection. You know, I, he's always been, you know, his story was very, very sad, especially in the comic book and, and in the TV show. The actor that played him in the TV show is great. Yeah, I'll put him back on his display stand just so he stays. So Morgan looks good. A very, very nice addition to your Walking Dead mini make collection. So let's set Morgan off to the side, and let's bring in the Geek Zombie. Alright, and this guy looks great. They did a really nice job with him. Some of the Walking Dead zombies, um, I think they've kind of gone a little over to, over to the top a little bit. This guy looks awesome. You know, he's got a great mix. He comes with a display stand. Let's take him off that. His head sculpt. He's got glasses on. He's got an open mouth. Like he's ready to bite somebody. Like rah, 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 rah. You know, he, he's got a little bit of blood up at the top of his head. It's, uh, he's got a little bit of piece of him missing right there. He's got this little piece of extra, like, intestines right here. And it's textured, and it looks really, really disgusting. It looks awesome. Um, his legs don't have a couple of different tempos. It looks like where maybe he has dirt on his legs. Spin around to the back. Kind of playing in the back ex until... And my camera's being a pain. You get to right here where kind of his flesh is showing. That looks really cool. So none of his deformed body parts affect his, um, affect his articulation. And you see he's got part of his skin missing right there, it looks like. 
So his arms will go all the way around. Bend at the elbow. Spin at the wrist. Waist swivel. Legs go up. Bend at the knee. Swivel at the ankle. Alright, so overall, should you get this pack? Yes. You get another zombie for your your horde, if you will, or your um, your zombie swarm, whatever you want to call it. Herd. And he looks pretty pretty awesome. Uh, overall, I really, really like this zombie. I think he's a, a nice addition to our Walking Dead zombies. You know, I think he goes well with Morgan. I think they both fit very well together. And I dig it. You know, I hope uh, you guys have liked my review. It's kind of short and sweet. Overall, should you get the pack? Definitely. Again, big thanks to Zach at Diamond Select Toys for sending this along for us, for us to review. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to come check us out at the new Articulated.com forums. The link is down below in the show notes. Alright, see you guys in the next review.